Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today I'm going to be doing a voiceover because I have just not felt well the last couple of days, and I didn't want to miss a Motivational Monday, so sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody. I'm back, and today I want to talk with you about life's little mishaps. Little mishaps can happen to us every single day, whether we leave our house or not. And I want to talk with you about little things like this, because the Bible is very clear about things like this that happen, that steal our joy, that steal our attention, and draw us away from the Lord. So today we're just going to talk about that. In Song of Solomon 2.15, in the King James Bible, it reads, Take us the foxes, the little foxes, that spoil the vines, for our vines have tender grapes. Now, when we look at this and we think about this, little small mishaps that happen to us, you know, pretty much on the regular, are things that can really spoil our attention and draw us away from the Lord. It's usually not a big thing like the death of a spouse or the, you know, a uh, loss of a house or something like that, but it's the little things that happen to us on a daily basis that throw us off kilter, that draw us away from the Lord, and they steal our attention. Now, how can we fix that and how can we overcome that? Well, there's, well, there's a couple of things that we can do, and one of the first things that we can do is we can set aside a time every single day come what may, to communicate with God. That is one of the first and foremost things that a Christian can do, whether that's taking the time first thing in the morning to read your Bible and pray, or at night when you lay down to go to sleep to pray and ask the Lord to help you for the next day. It really doesn't matter the time of day or when. It's just setting aside a time that you can talk to the Lord, that you can look in His Word, even if it's just one verse. I have found that the older I get, the more I depend on one verse at a time. So some days I just read one verse in the Bible. Some days I'll read a whole chapter, two chapters. But a lot of times, and probably I would say greater than 50% of the time, I read one verse and think about that one verse during the day. That can really help us if we're thinking about God's Word. Because one thing I have found, and I have found this true in others that I have coached and done Christian coaching with, with I have found that it seems like whatever verse you pick out first thing in the morning for your day, that actually seems to be pertinent for the rest of the day. Isn't it funny how God works like that? The second thing you can do, and I'm a big believer in this, is you can journal. We can take our journals and we can write down our thoughts for the day. We can do that right before we go to bed. Just jot down a few quick things. It only takes a couple of minutes. And we can go back and look at that and write down what you feel like stole your joy that day, that messed with your hope or kept you from focusing on the task at hand. Sometimes we have things that we have to accomplish during a 24-hour time period. And we only have 24 hours to accomplish certain things. And if we let these little things get in our way, we will never accomplish what we need to get done that day. So if we sit down at the end of the day and just do a brief inventory of what happened, what we did, what we accomplished, that will actually make us feel better. Because at the end of the day, we will have accomplished more than we thought if we've, if we've kind of stayed on track. Another good thing to do is write down your goals and your hopes and your dreams. Check them out a couple of times a day. Tell yourself mentally, hey, I've got to stay on track. I've got a goal I have to reach. That really helps me sometimes if I will write that down where I can get it out and look at it. You don't necessarily have to do that every single day, but it does help if we do that a couple of times a week at least. Put it where you can see it. I have several things in my bedroom that are hanging on a an old screen door that I have clothespins in, and I will hang stuff up there that I need to accomplish or things that have meant something to me, like for 
a year, I hung my Paul McCartney tickets up there for almost a year. I have them downstairs now where I can take a look at my ticket every time I feel like, you know, I feel depressed. And I think about a time where I was happy. And that really helps me as well to stay motivated, to stay on task, and to stay on target. It doesn't always have to be something that's related to the Bible. It doesn't have to be. There are other times in our lives when we do have happiness besides reading our Bible. But I do encourage people, if you are a Christian, to really press in and learn your Bible. Learn scripture verses that you can depend on when you feel down or depressed or when you feel lacking in something. One of the best things you can do, and I have found this to be true in my life, is find a couple of verses that really mean something to you and think about them because it's a lot easier to pull out a memory verse when you, you're going through trial than it is when you're actually going through trial to find a memory verse. So if you have eight or 10 verses that you have memorized, that really helps also when these little things try to come and steal you away from your task, your job, and most importantly, your Lord. Listen, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Again, I apologize for having to do a voiceover, but there's just no help for it this week. I hope you all have listened to the end, and if you have, check out everything I do down in the description box. I've got a couple of new things down there, and I hope you guys have a great week. God bless you all. Maranatha, folks. I love you guys. Bye-bye.